Good morning, everybody. Um, it's early. I still haven't made my coffee, and I wanted a wooden spoon. Hold on just a second. Let me get that. Whoops, sorry. Yes, it is still a dumpster fire this morning. Um, this is what I'm cooking. I'm going to show you this. This is the uh, loin roast. It's pork. Um, it was four sixty eight. It is two pounds on the nose. And I am going to show you how I'm going to make this. Um, because this is a huge six and a half quart crock pot because Thumble Nuts here dropped her brand new one last, I think it was probably close to a year ago when I bought it, brand new. Um, well, life is the way it is. Um, we're just going to put some of this in the bottom. Well, I guess we're going to put the whole can in the bottom. It doesn't matter. And um, we're going to add some milk and stir that up. It doesn't matter how you do this. I know there's people that would put this in a, you know, whatever bowl and mix this and be all pretty about it. But this is real life, guys. And I looked for my jar of garlic. I think I used it all. But the garlic can be added at any time. And all my cloves of garlic are gone. I used them in my last recipe that I used garlic in. And this doesn't have to be beautiful, guys. It doesn't. So, there is that. I added probably about a third of a can of milk. We are using two cans of cream and mushroom soup. I just wanted one can in here on the bottom and then we are going to get that spoon to stay put open up my roast yes I've washed off my package and I don't want all that roast juice in there so we're carefully taking this out like that we are laying it fat side up there's a reason for that. Let me set that in the sink. We're going to take this knife and we are going to poke holes all the way down through this. We're going to turn the knife and poke holes the opposite direction. This uh, helps break down the fat and let seasonings and things like that get down into the meat and it also helps with the cooking time and cooking evenly so we've pretty much stabbed that very well let me wash this off and wash my hands um I'll wait and put that on in a minute. Uh, no, I guess I'm going to go ahead and do it now. <clears throat> Why do these two cans look different? They're both cream and mushroom. Both have the same date. One can is light, one can is dark. I'm very concerned here. You know what, guys? I don't like the way this can looks. I mean, look at the difference. Can you see the white? Look at how icky that one looks. And they have the same exact date. That worries me. They come from two different batches. Oh, you know what? The bottom of this can has got a bow to it. The one I just opened, the bottom of this can has a bow to it. Can you see that? It is bulged out. Nope, nope, nope. All right, guess what? We're just going to use one can because actually that looks like a lot of, a lot more than I thought. So we're just going to scoop some of this up here and I'll go ahead and add the rest of the milk I was going to add. I am so glad I opened this can first. Okay, so there's a lesson that you will learn. 
watch your cans. And I'll go ahead and add the rest of the milk I was going to add. Because I didn't add all the milk I wanted. Get that out of the way. Wow, that was uh, unique and right there in our faces, wasn't it, guys? My biggest concern was having enough liquid for this size crock pot. That's why I was using two cans. But I really don't think we needed two cans because we've covered our meat with no problem with one can. And I'll just have to keep a really close eye on it. I'm not going anywhere, so I don't have to worry about that. So it looks all right. I have plenty with one can. Um, <clears throat> that was a close call. We're going to add salt. That looked like a lot, but it wasn't, guys. And I love pepper. So you pepper and salt to your taste. That was a really close call on that um, can of a uh, cream of mushroom soup, wasn't it? I'm glad I looked at the bottom of that can and not just said, oh, it must be just a different color. And then realized the can was bowed. So you can't always go by just the date as to whether something's going to be good. And on my onions, I'm leaving them in rings. And I'm leaving them fairly thick sliced. I don't want them too skinny. Because these are going to be cooking in here for quite some time. Get them all down in there. Do, 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 do. You shouldn't really cut towards yourself, but um, just uh, be mindful of how you do things. Because this is a good way to cut yourself. I'm just not being very smart. But I am going slow. And there is that. Now, because I don't have my garlic, I'm sorry about that, guys. I really did think I had some left in my jar in the refrigerator. I must have used it all. Oh, this is not coming off. Here we go. And then I'm going to add just one. Well, that broke. It's not even a whole one. It is so hard to find a whole bay leaf. Here's a half of one. There we go. So you want to put just a whole bay leaf in there. There's two halves in there close enough. Do not eat the bay leaves. Do not eat the bay leaves. Take them out when you're done cooking. Um, I normally would put a tablespoon or so, depending on your taste, on the minced garlic. And then that's all there is to this, guys. Put the lid on. Always remember to plug your crock pot in. Whoop, I'm sorry about the noise. I can see what kind of a day I'm going to have. And then turn it on. It is really early in the morning. It is 4.47, not quite 5 o'clock. I'm going to put it on low. We're going to cook this till about noon or so. So five, that's seven hours. That's long enough. <laughs> We're going to let this puppy cook until noon. Um, before noon, I'll bring you back. I'm going to show you what the rest of my lunch is. It's probably going to be if those yams or, or sweet potatoes, whatever they are, are good when I cut into them. I will make a um, mashed sweet potato. It's going to be sweetened with brown sugar um, and a little bit of butter. That's the other thing I didn't put in here. That's what I was forgetting. 
Let me find my stick of margarine. <coughs> um, I'm glad I mentioned that. I'd have been like, what's wrong with this? You want to put like just a couple of tablespoons of margarine just like that but anyways that's going to be my dinner along with um, some potato mashed homemade, homemade mashed potatoes so there we are dinner started I'll talk to all of you guys in a little bit bye okay everybody um, everything is about done yeah, I'm going to mash up the potatoes. I've already got the um, yams or sweet potatoes, whichever they are, mashed up. Um, I'm just adding about two tablespoons of margarine and a dab of milk so that they're creamy. Um, I don't add salt and pepper to my potatoes because I'm going to salt and pepper them on my um, plate and yes I'm old school I mash my potatoes with a potato masher and um, I just cut my potatoes into small pieces so that they cook quickly um, the yams were or yams or sweet potatoes whichever they are were very actually very good um, once you cut that outside off, they were actually really, really good. So, make sure I got everything from around the sides here. It's just me, so I'm not worried if they're a little lump lumpy, but there's those mashed. Let me show you these. These are still hot and they are mashed. Those are the yams. I'm going to get a plate and we're going to go ahead and plate up the food. Okay, first I wanted to show you this because it is done. I grab my fork. I sliced it one piece. Oh, that's crap, that's hot, guys. I sliced one piece earlier. We're going to take the bay leaf pieces out. We don't need them. There's another piece right here. Get that out of there. I'm going to scoot this all off. You can see all the juices and stuff that's in here. I'm going to take the small piece here. Well, that's really small, but that's okay. I'm going to put this on my plate. And I'm going to turn you around. to avoid my stick of margarine that's setting here. And I'm going to get a little spoon for each of these. I'm going to dish up my potatoes. Like so. And then I did uh, put just about um, two tablespoons of margarine again in the um, yams and sweet potatoes along with um, about two tablespoons of brown sugar. And there is my plate. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's my dinner. And um, I hope everybody enjoyed this little short video. I'm going to go ahead and make my, put salt and pepper and stuff on this and season it. 
Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with me. I really enjoy cooking and sharing with you my meals. Everybody, have a wonderful day, night, evening. I'll talk to all of you guys later. Bye, guys.